Okay, coffee grinders and three ring binders. Aw, bless your heart. Everybody, my name is John, and welcome to ADITW, a day in the word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Romans chapter 2. We got this. No, God's got this. Jesus Juke! I'm sorry. Uh, read Romans 2, 12 through 29 while I reflect on my decision making. So this chapter has a lot of talk about Jews and Gentiles and the law and righteousness and unrighteousness and circumcision. Ew! But what does all of this have to do with us? Paul's point here is an important one, but how can we understand this in a modern context? Essentially, Paul here is talking about the difference between the labels of Christian and non-Christian versus the character of a true believer. In the ancient world, the Jews were the religious folk. They were the in crowd. They were people who went to church every Sunday, belonged to a small group, studied their Bibles, and listened exclusively to Caleb. While the Gentiles were those who did not know God. They were not an active member in a local church. They did not grow up in a Christian home. And so if we wanted to, anytime we read the word Jew in this chapter, we could replace it with the word Christian or anyone who calls themselves a Christian. And anytime we see the word Gentile, we could replace it with non-Christian, or who we might call non-believers. And the same goes for with the law versus without the law, or even circumcised versus uncircumcised. Paul here is communicating the impartiality of God's judgment and the method and measure by which he judges. In the old way, someone may have been counted righteous based on their parentage. Were they a Jew or a Gentile? They would have been counted righteous based on their knowledge of the law or even their physical acts of obedience. But Paul here is presenting the case that our righteousness righteousness before God is not based on our heritage or our labels or the clothes we wear or the church we go to. Our righteousness before God is based on the faith that we hold in our hearts and the evidence of that faith that is shown through our actions. It's not about the label of Christian versus non-Christian. That's not how we will be judged. It's not about simply checking all the right things off the list, but faith is about a transformation that occurs within our hearts brought on by the grace of Jesus. Essentially here, we're talking about the difference between religion and faith. Religion says, so long as you check the right boxes, so long as you do all the right things, you'll be okay. But faith says, all of my righteous actions come from a heart that has been fundamentally changed by the good news of Jesus' gospel. Paul here is saying that there is a new measure of God's judgment, and it's no longer based on the physical or on the labels that we use. The measure and means of God's judgment now will be by faith. What does your heart look like? Who does your heart look like? belong to, and how is that evidenced through your life? Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this episode of ADITW. I hope you're enjoying our walk through Romans. Before I go, I wanted to let you know about one very exciting thing. Attention to all of you who are in the southeastern part of the United States. I am coming to Atlanta in October. I am bringing my brand new show, That Guy From That Video. I've been traveling around the country a little bit this year, and I am bringing it to Atlanta, October 15th at the Church at the Ridge. I will be there 7 p.m. The show, the new show, I've been talking about it a lot, and I'm finally bringing it to Atlanta. I surveyed my audience, you all, last year at the end of the year, asking where I should bring my show, and Atlanta was the number one voted city. More than Chicago, more than New York, more than any city that I've ever lived in, Atlanta, you all wanting me to come 
and I made it happen. So now I need you all to step up and visit the link in the description to buy your tickets. I really want to see you all there. It's going to be a fantastic night. I'm going to be hanging around after, meeting people, shaking hands, signing books, things like that. It's going to be great. So get your tickets today. And if you enter the discount code WORD, you can receive a little gift, a little discount for you because I love you. That's all I have for you. I love you all. Keep being awesome. Oh,